your show is big. Play that music, it's a super geek. All stories take us anywhere together. Out to sea or in the air together. Yeah! Wow! Hooray! The secret is imagination. No one needs an invitation. Little people, big sensation. We can do anything together. Together! <laughs> <laughs> Mia went to get us some paint so we can paint a picture of it. You should see it up close. I hope she gets back before it goes away. I want to paint it just right. Oh, here comes the bus. Hello, Miss Emily. <laughs> I wonder what amazing place she's taking people to today. She always picks up her passengers right on time. And brings them back safely. I wish she was bringing Mia back. A rainbow is going away. Guys, look what I found. It's the happiest flower ever. <laughs> and the rain made it smell extra smelly good. What took you so long, Mia? I had to smell all the flowers, Eddie, so their feelings wouldn't get hurt. Uh, 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 shoot! <gasps> My flower, it's gone! Just like the rainbow. Oops. Why do you have to spend so much time sniffing flowers? Now we can't paint the rainbow. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh well, I'll just have to paint a flower instead of a rainbow. I could paint a dragon, I guess. <gasps> there! I painted a chocolate cookie. <gasps> You don't have to paint any of that stuff. We can go on an adventure and find them in fairy tale land. She's right. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Dig a do! You are right, Mia. There's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a cookie. Hi, kids. Crummy weather we're having, huh? <laughs> Crummy. <laughs> Good one. So where's my flower? Are you all going to see the flower today too? Hello there. I'm Perry Peacock. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. What flower? Why? The amazing kazooing orchid, of course. When it blooms, it sounds like an orchestra of kazoos. Awesome. Great. Wow. Let's go. Cool. But it only opens once a day. Once a day? Well, then we don't want to be late. I know someone who takes people to amazing places and is never late. Someone who's never late? Impossible. The bus. Perfect! Bus drivers work really hard to be on time. Bus driver Tessa will take us to see the flower. Climb aboard! Let's go! Yay! Yay! Sit on down, put on a smile. Here we go traveling Tessa style. Here we go! Wait! Where's Perry Peacock? Try to be on time. <laughs> Perry Peacock, what are you doing? Jumping on the trampoline! Whee! 
<laughs> but everyone is waiting for you, Perry, to go and see the amazing kazooing orchid. Oh, yes, right. I, uh, I ran back here to give my feathers a quick brush and I saw the trampoline and... You don't want to make us miss the kazooing orchid, do you? Come on! Okay, I'll be right there. I spy with my little eye a purple castle. I spy a red heart again. I don't spy Mia and Perry. Where are they? <laughs> Here they come. Yes. <laughs> okay, everyone, sit on down, put on a smile. Here we go, traveling Tessa style. All right. Get that just, just so. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Sit down, please, Perry Peacock. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hold things up. <sighs> and we're off. I spy... an itsy-bitsy spider. I spy... <laughs> Bo Peep Slam. I spy... Humpty Dumpty. And I think he wants a ride. Oh, these all look so delicious. That one. Mm. Perry! Coming, 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 coming. Here we go. Almost there, everyone. Yay! Awesome! Guys, quiet. I hear it. The amazing kazooing orchid. Hurry, Tessa. We don't want to miss it. it w w which looks better? Hat on or off? On or off? On or off? On or off? Whatever you like best. We just want to see the orchid. Oh, dear. I am making everyone wait, aren't I? On it is. It's over. Rats. It's all Perry's fault we missed the orchid. He took too long jumping on the trampoline and picking apples and trying on his hat. <laughs> and it was kind of like when I took so long smelling the flowers in the backyard and made everyone miss the special rainbow. Oh, I am so very sorry. The trampoline was just so much fun and those apples looked so delicious. I shouldn't have dawdled. Dawdled? What's dawdled? Well, it's when you waste time and keep others waiting. Oh, so I guess I dawdled when I was bringing back the rainbow paints. I am so very sorry, too. It's, it's okay, okay, Mia. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I can't make the orchid bloom again, but I might be able to help with the rainbow. Oh, I wish I could help. You can. I have just the thing. When it's time to go and your friends are waiting, do not dawdle, cause it's aggravating. Think of how they feel, they don't wanna be late. Try to be on time, then they won't have to wait. Twice in one day! Hooray! Woohoo! 
It's never done that before. That was fun! Yay! Woohoo! All aboard the backyard bus! See the sights and comfort and fun! I'm on board and ready to go! No more dawdling for me! We're off! All aboard! Let's go! Sit on down, put on a smile, here we go traveling Tessa style! Vroom, yes! Vroom. <laughs> Let's go this way! <laughs> Big Boss coming through! Beep, beep. Mighty Mia here at the Backyard Cup Finals where Steady Eddie is getting ready for his dinosaur dribble! Uh, roar! And he knocks it out of the park! Now watch me score! Tessa style! Tessa is really playing hardball today! Huh. Whoa. Oopsie! I hope it wasn't too hard! Sorry, Kobe! Are you okay? I'm okay. So is my remote control. Wow, what's it for? It's to help us find Lucky if he ever gets lost. Kobe! <sighs> Lucky will never get lost. He hardly moves. <sighs> come and play ball with me. No thanks. Aw, oh, come on. It's so much fun. I want to work on my remote control. But you made that awesome net for us. You have to play. Thanks, but I like making stuff more than playing soccer. But everyone likes to play soccer. Not everyone, Tessa. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see Lucky play soccer. I'd love to see Lucky do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucky. Oh. <laughs> hey, we should take Lucky on an adventure. Huh? <laughs> An adventure! He'd love it! Uh, Tessa, I don't think he would. Everyone loves an adventure, Kobe. But Tessa... And what better place for adventure than the high seas? Let's go! All right. Sounds fun. Out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our speed we're going now. But everyone likes going fast. Not everyone, Tessa. <laughs> I want to turn around and race. But if we turn around, we'll miss that, Tessa. It's the lost sea monster. Sea, sea monster? monster? Don't worry. She's a friendly monster. Where did she go? I want to meet her. I'm not 
I'm sure I want to meet her. Of course you do. Everyone likes sea monsters. Whoa! But I don't like this rocking! Whoa! I love this! Wee! Awesome! Phew! I'm glad that's over. Hello. Are you the lostest monster? What does that mean? Hmm. I think she's trying to say she's not a monster, but she is lost. We should have gone on a land adventure, Lucky. Oh. Or maybe we should have just stayed home. Are you looking for your pod? Hmm. What's a pod, Kobe? A pod is a family of whales. Oh. Would you like us to help you find your pod? Hmm. like she's singing. Scientific fact. Whales sing. That's how they talk to each other. <laughs> Good idea, Lucky. Maybe if we all sing, her family will hear us. And we won't have to find them. They'll find us. Four young friends on a sailing ship. Yo ho ho, and we're having some fun. A whale comes along and we start to tip. Yo ho ho, and we're having some fun. One mate likes to tumble and trip. Another likes to rock and dip. And one just glides and slides and slips. I'm not sure about this notion. I don't like this rocking motion. I prefer a calmer ocean. Here you go, Tessa. I made this for you. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Kobe. Adventures, how we like to play. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. He does not, and that's okay. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. Some may like a ride that thrills. Some at sports have lots of skills. And some like to shape and build. So many ways to have some fun. You like to walk, I like to run. All things aren't for everyone. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. Adventures, how we like to play. Yo ho ho, many ways to have fun. You may like a different way. There are so many ways to have fun. There they are! It's the Lost Whales family! It worked! They must have heard our song and come to find us! Better now, Tessa? Yes, thank you. I feel great. But where's Lucky? <gasps> Found him! Kobe, your remote control worked! You're so good at making things. Thanks. It's what I like to do. <laughs> that was awesome! Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, come see the awesome move that Eddie just invented. Welcome back, sports fans! Steady Eddie heads for the ball. He gives it the old banana kick. <laughs> it goes in the air. It bounced off the swing set. The slide! The tree! And... Want me to teach you all how to do it? Hmm. How about if everyone does what they like to do best? You teach me the trick, Mia can announce. Mighty Mia is on the mic. So 
Buffy can film and Kobe can keep score. Perfect. Great. But what about Lucky? Where did he go? Don't worry. I have just the thing to find the lostest puppy. Turn it on. And here we go. Beep boop bop beep bleep boop. Searching, searching. Beep boop bop boop beep bop boop. Beep. There he is, doing what he likes to do best. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, let's play. Awesome. All right. Let's do it. Coming. <laughs> All right, folks, it's the Backyard Trick Show. Yay, Backyard Trick Show. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, what an awesome adventure, Eddie. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Steady Eddie is always ready to lead an adventure. <laughs> Whew. That big adventure made me really tired. <laughs> well, not as tired as Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> What's next, guys? It's Sophie's turn to pick. I was thinking maybe a picnic? Yeah. I love picnics. I am pretty hungry. Great. I'll go get the picnic basket. <laughs> a picnic doesn't sound like a very exciting adventure, does it, Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it does to you, but everyone else really likes Eddie's adventures. Huh? But maybe I can make today's picnic a big Eddie kind of adventure. Thanks, Lucky. That's just what I'm going to do. <coughs> Looks like our picnic is ready. Great. I'm starving. Me too. Come on, we're going on an awesomely amazing Picnic. Awesomely amazing. Today we're going to the meadow. Uh, I mean, we're going to a restaurant. Huh? huh? No, wait. Fairy tale land. The most exciting place ever for a picnic. Awesome! Whoa. Yay! Dig a dig a do. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So, hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. adventure is about to begin. This is a great place, Sophie. I've had lots of picnics here. What? You've had lots of picnics here? Uh-huh. It's so nice and quiet. Well, this isn't exactly where we're going to have the picnic. What do you mean, Sophie? This place is too quiet for an awesomely amazing picnic. We're just here to... The dragon. He's going to help us toast the marshmallows, right, LD? Marshmallows? Yum! I love toasting marshmallows. Show them how it's done, LD. <laughs> Toasted to a perfect golden brown. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. But if we aren't eating here, where are we eating? Yeah. I'm getting hungry. Oh, what would Eddie do to make this picnic super awesome and amazing? <gasps> I know. Follow me, friends. We're going someplace where no one, not even Eddie, has had a picnic before. Huh? huh? Okay. Sounds fun. Isn't it awesome? 
And amazing? Just like one of your adventures, Eddie. Yeah, it's pretty cool, Sophie. <sighs> cool? It's freezing. Yeah. <sighs> Are we gonna have a picnic in the snow? Um, no. We're gonna eat the snow. Snow cones, that is. Hi, Mr. Penguin. We'll have six snow cones to go. We'll have them for dessert someplace nice and warm. Scientific fact, snow cones melt when they get nice and warm. Uh, of course they do. That's why Mr. Penguin and his snow cone cart are coming along with us. Off we go to the most awesomely amazing picnic adventure ever! Cool roar, Aldi. That was my tummy. <laughs> Can we please stop and eat now? I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm so hot. <laughs> We have to go somewhere exciting for our picnic. I know. Let's ride motorcycles to the marketplace. Huh? Uh, how about? We go to the farm. <sighs> we like it here. <laughs> okay. We'll eat here. It's just, I wanted today's picnic to be awesome and amazing. Hey! They have our picnic basket. What should I do? What would Eddie do? to go, but this is crazy. Stop! <laughs> now what do we do, Sophie? I don't know. What should we do, Eddie? Huh? You always know what to do on awesomely amazing adventures, so I've been trying to be just like you. Why do you want to be like me, Sophie? Everyone loves an Eddie adventure. My regular Sophie kind of picnic is never that exciting. We love your Sophie picnics. You always bring the best treats. And everything is just right. Yeah, perfect. Sophie style. You don't ever have to try to be like someone else. We like you just the way you are. Some like it hot, some like it cold. Some like things quiet, some like them bold. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. Cause you're the best you. Some like to fly high, some like it on the ground. Some like things tidy, some like to mess around. Whatever you like to say or do, it's always right when you're true to yourself. So just remember, be true to yourself, cause you're the best you. Thanks, guys. It feels good to know that you like me, just the way I am. Of course. We sure do. Yay, Sophie! You are one of a kind. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm. It sure would be nice if we could have one of those Sophie-licious picnics right now. But the monkeys took our food. Hmm. Well, then we'll have to fly over there and get it back. Can you give us a lift, LD? Sure. But I can only carry two of you. Are you ready for an adventure, Eddie? Steady Eddie is always ready, Sophie. Let's go. We need two snow cones, please. Thanks. Here we go. Hey, guys. <gasps> yeah! Yes! You did it, guys! Woohoo! Oh, 
awesome. Follow me, everyone. I know the perfect place for a nice, quiet, relaxing picnic. <laughs> that picnic was awesomely amazing, Sophie. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for helping out, everyone. Next time, I'll just be myself. Trying to act like somebody else is too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Yeah. Whose turn is it to pick what we do now? I think Lucky has the right idea. <laughs> What is this strange activity? It's called hopscotch. <laughs> you must be an alien. Correct. One alien, two, two heads. heads. Cool. Which is your favorite head? Question, Question does, does not, not compute. compute. They don't have a favorite. It's like having two legs. <laughs> <laughs> you like them both. Wanna play? We thought you'd never ask. Beep, beep, boop, 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 beep, beep. I spy with my little eye. Um, something really cute. Is it a pumpkin? Pumpkins aren't cute. They are if you carve them that way. <laughs> beep. Oh, oh boy. Beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. Boop, beep, boop. Oh, no. Alien down. <laughs> hey, you guys want to play hopscotch now? Sure. But I thought you liked playing I Spy with me. I do, but hopscotch with an alien is pretty awesome, too. Uh... Hello? Guys, it's Farmer Jed. Cool. Woohoo! Yay! Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Farmer, Farmer Jed. Jed. I'll bet he's on his way to set up for a harvest festival somewhere. What's a harvest festival? It's like a big party with hay rides and pumpkins and games and artists and all kinds of stuff. Ooh, I'd love to go to a harvest festival someday. Me too. Yeah, sounds cool. I'd love to show my paintings there someday. Why wait? Let's all go to a harvest festival today. <gasps> Yay, let's! Harvest Festival! to the Harvest Festival, folks! Biggest pumpkin in the world! Make your own apple cider! Rides, games, you name it! If you like fall, we got it all! Biggest pumpkin in the world? <gasps> Woohoo! Can I do my own painting here? <gasps> cool! Artists over that away! Woohoo! Apple cider! Hey, Ride! Woohoo! You want to help me make fresh butter out of milk? Sure, sounds fun! All right! Woohoo! Ooh, these leaves look so real. <gasps> look at this one, Emma. I love it. I love this one. <gasps> you should do one like this, Emma. Emma? I've got it! I'm going to make a painting of the whole Harvest Festival. Everyone will love it. Yes! It'll be... Emma-amazing! Emma -amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the cow gives the milk, then we mix it around in this thing we call a churn, and before long... Butter blocks! Later, we'll shape them into sticks, like you get at the store. You can shape the butter? Like the clay we play with? Yep, just like that. Hmm. 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 Farmer Kobe, I have an idea. May I have some butter blocks, please? Uh, sure. Take all you need. Thanks. And remember, careful not to let them get too warm. They might melt. Ooh, it looks beautiful, Emma. Thank you. It's going to be the biggest, best painting I ever made. <laughs> hey, where is everyone going? Don't you want to see me finish my painting? <gasps> Emma! Look at what Jack is making! What in the world is that, Jack? I'm making a sculpture, Emma. Part cow, part sheep, part horse, part turkey, and all butter. I call it the Big Beautiful Butter Beast. A butter beast? That's not a real thing. My painting? is full of real things. You should all come over and see it. Right, Mia? Wow. Mia? <clears throat> huh? Oh, right. Coming. Oh, I don't get it, Mia. Everyone said that they loved my painting. But now they're looking at Jack's silly, buttery sculpture thingy instead. I think it's cool. And I think your painting is awesome, too. <sighs> well, I'm not going to finish it. What? Why not? Because everyone likes Jack's butterific sculpture more than they like my M amazing painting. Even you. I love your painting. And I love Jack's Butter Beast. I love them both. That's okay, isn't it? Well, yeah. I never thought about it that way. But what about all those other people? I think they like them both, too. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods, and that's okay. Hmm, really? Let's see. I like hopscotch and... Right, like fall, and winter, summer, and spring. It's great to like a lot of things. It's great to like a lot of things. Everyone likes lots of things for the different kinds of fun they bring. You like lots of games to play and different foods, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so people can like Jack's Butter Beast and my Harvest Festival painting. People can like a lot of things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh no, what's happening? My big beautiful butter beast is melting! What do I do? What do I do? We can't let my brother's awesome statue melt. Come on, Mia. We have to get help so we can save the butter beast. Save the butter beast! Save the butter beast! Emma, I was afraid maybe you wouldn't like my sculpture. I mean, it is sort of weird. Of course I like it, Jack. In fact, I love it. And I love my painting, too. I love them both. Your painting is Emma-mazing. 
Your statue is butterific. They're different and both great in their own way. Yeah, that's right. It's great to like a lot of things. Right, Mia? Right. <laughs> oh, I like the pumpkin. I like the hayride. And the apple cider. <gasps> oh, let's do a play that has everything we liked about the festival in it. Sounds like fun. We can call the play... Um... Jack and the Pumpkin Stock. Cool, there's a pumpkin in it. Double cool, there's a jack in it. <laughs> there once was a giant who lived in a huge pumpkin with a goose that laid golden blocks of butter and his sister who loved to paint. This is going to be good. That sounds amazing. <laughs> Hand me a bucket, please, Tessa. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I need it for my town. Huh. There, just a few more stores. What you making, Mia? I'm building my very own town. This is the school, and this is the road to the school. This is a toy store, an ice cream parlor, and this is the mayor's house. Who's the mayor? Me. That's why this town is called Mia Town. Cool. I'm gonna build Eddieville right next door. And I'll make Sophie Gardens. No, you can't. This is Mia Town. I made it up all by myself. We won't change it, Mia. We'll make our own towns. And we won't take any of your stuff. Come on, let's make some plans. But I don't want them to play town. This was my idea. What if they build better towns than me? I know. I'll make my town so big, there won't be any room for theirs. This big house right here. Steady Eddie is ready to build. Me too. We're ready to build, Mia. Mia Town has grown. Like it? But Mia, there's not enough room now for us to build our towns. Sorry, I guess you'll have to play something else. I guess we could. Or we could go somewhere where there's lots of room, like Snow Globia. Yes, there's room there for all of us to build. Come on, Mia. Well, okay. Have some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone in any situation. Sophie. Oh, you're in for it now. Oh, nice throw, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where's Mia? <laughs> Mia, where are you going? I'm going to go build something. Great. Want some help? No, thanks. I guess Mia wants to play by herself today. I guess. Duck! Ah! <laughs> I don't want them to see the snow castle I'm building, or they may want to copy me again. Snow castle's my idea. It's going to be tall, with a big throne room, and pointy things on top. And a special place to put my Mia flag. Not bad, but it could use a nice ice slide. Who said that? Me! <laughs> Oh, hello. Who are you? Name's Celia. What's yours? I'm Mia. So, you're building something. Um, yes. My very own 
snow castle. <laughs> I could never think up something like that. Uh, thanks. But you know what might be cool? An ice slide all the way around. Wow, I love that. But I don't know if I can build that by myself. Want some help? Okay. My heart sparkle. <gasps> Wait! One more thing. Whee! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> Our snow house is awesome, Eddie. Yeah! Let's get me to come and see it. Maybe we can build another one all together. You close your eyes and count to five, Mia. I'll hide. Ooh! I love hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Eddie and Sophie, I don't want Celia to see them. She might like them better than she likes me. Hey, Mia, who are you talking to? Oh, you must have heard me sing my, uh, building song. It's my building song, and it's not too long. Just a song. <laughs> wow, your snow castle is amazing. We made a snow house. Want to see it? Uh, no thanks. I'm just going to build some more stuff here. Why don't we all build together? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Uh, no thanks. I'm okay. You go ahead, have fun. Bye-bye. Phew! <gasps> Home free! <laughs> wow, you win, Celia. Was somebody else here, Mia? I heard you talking. I was singing my hide-and-seek song. Hide-and-seek song, it's not very long. My song. <laughs> oh, okay. Now it's your turn to hide. One, two, three. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like laughing. No, that's not laughing. That's, uh, the wind. Ooh, ah, ooh. Keep counting, Celia. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Woo! <laughs> wow! Oh, I knew I heard someone. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Celia. Hi, I'm Eddie, and this is Sophie. Want to play with us? Hey! Celia's my new friend, and we're playing hide-and-seek right now. But, but let's go sliding with them, Mia. It looks like fun. Come on! Come on, Mia! Yeah, come on, Mia! In a minute... Rats! We only have two saucers, Celia. You can use mine first. And Mia can use mine. I don't need a saucer. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah! Oh, that was cool. Wow! <laughs> hey, Mia! What are you still doing here? Come and grab a snow saucer. No, thanks. <laughs> What's wrong? Is everything okay? No, it's not fair. Celia was my friend. I'm still your friend, Mia. Yeah, but now you like Eddie and Sophie better than you like me. I don't like anyone better. I like all of you. <laughs> the more, the merrier. Really? Sure. There's always room for another friend. <laughs> right, guys? That's, That's right. right. You and I are friends forever through the good times and the bad. I'll always be your pal whenever you're happy or you're sad. And when a new friend comes along, our friendship circle starts to grow. You all lose a friend, you gain one. Now there's one more friend you know. The more, the merrier. A friendship circle never ends.
I'm sorry I tried to keep Celia all to myself. The more the merrier. The more the merrier! Town. Uh oh, there's a giant dog in your town, Mia. <laughs> we'll just have to build a new town called Lucky Town. Perfect. You're building a town called Lucky Town? Yep. Can we help? <laughs> yeah. Sure. The more the merrier in Lucky Town. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Jetty! Awesome! Eddie, you're supposed to try and catch it. I know, but I love the noise the boom bouncer makes when it hits the ground. Kick it to me, Eddie! Okay! <laughs> Silly doggy. It's just a ball. He's not silly, Tessa. The boom bouncer noise scared him. <sighs> it's okay, Lucky. We all get scared sometimes. Here's what I do when a loud noise scares me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you made him feel better, Kobe. Good boy, Lucky. <laughs> a fire truck! Let's go see! What's going on? Can you see? Wow! Mrs. Melvin's cat got stuck in the tree again. The firefighters are going to use their ladder to get it down. Ooh! They're so helpful and brave. That makes my heart sparkle. Yeah, I bet firefighters never get scared of anything. Everyone gets scared sometimes, Tessa. Not firefighters, and not me. I'm going to be a firefighter someday. Me too. Hey, we should go on a firefighter adventure. Who wants to come? Me. I do. Eddie and I are going to stay here to watch the rescue. Have fun. Hey, hey, come out and play. Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be anyone.
what's wrong? Are you afraid of the fire truck? <laughs> That's silly. It's just a fire truck. Tessa, I don't think she's ever seen one before. New things can be scary. Come on, Tessa. Let's show her our truck. Great idea! This is where Kobe and Tessa hold on and ride. This is our ladder. We use it to reach things that are really high. And this is where the driver sits. <laughs> hey, that's my seat. Now let's drive you home. Fire and rescue, away! Like someone's in trouble. Tumpty Dumpty, up on a wall. I don't want to have a great fall. Uh, he looks scared. Well, that's silly. He climbed up. Why should he be scared to climb down? I remember the first time I climbed up to the tree house. I was too scared to climb back down. Huh. Well, we need to help him, but it's really high. I'll do it. I used to be scared, but now I love to climb. Whee! This is fun! Hmm. I didn't think a big egg like Humpty would be scared of anything. Everyone gets scared sometimes, Tessa. Here we go. Oh, my. Good. <coughs> there you go, Humpty. Safe and sound. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, over here. Hey, Andy. Is something wrong? My son, Otis Beaver, has wandered off again. He probably went to play with some friends in the woods there, but... I need him to help me cut these trees. Don't worry. We'll find him for you. Firefighter team to the rescue! Um... Hey, what's wrong, Tessa? Oh, um, nothing. They're fireflies, Tessa. Haven't you ever seen them before? No, they scared me. New things can be scary, like when the bunny first saw a fire truck. You want to go and meet the fireflies together, Tessa? Okay. Everyone's scared of something, no matter how brave they seem. Tight spaces. High places are things you've never seen. Before you shiver or cry or yell, remember your friends are there to help. Cause there's no reason to run and hide when your best friends are by your side. Cause everyone's braver together. Everyone's braver together. shiver or cry or yell cause I know my friends are here to help and there's no reason to run and hide cause my best friends are by my side and everyone's braver together everyone's braver together Thanks for finding them. You're welcome. 
Now, next time you have a hankering to wander off, you'll let your dad know, won't you, son? I will, Dad. Promise. That's my boy. Aw, that makes my heart sparkle. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. We're back from our fire and rescue adventure. We rescued everybody. Did the firefighters rescue Mrs. Moment's kitty? Yep, she was so happy. Now we're teaching Lucky how to shake hands. <laughs> oh, they're leaving! Come on, let's go watch! No thanks. I'll stay with Lucky. I think he's a little scared. <laughs> Give me a paw. <laughs> hey, thanks, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cute. <laughs> okay, players, it's time to play Jack's Super Adventure Challenge. First up is Mia. On your mark, get set, go! Uh, Mia's off to a great start. <laughs> She's reached the bridge. She's down the slide. She spins three times. And she finishes in five fingers. Great job, Mia. Thank you. My turn. Okay, Eddie. On your mark, get set, go. Go, Eddie, go. Go, Mia, go. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, Kobe. I'm okay. We're playing Jack's Super Adventure Challenge game. Want to play, Kobe? Um... Uh, oh, we should get everyone to play. Yeah! Come on, you guys. We're all going to play Jack's adventure game. Sounds like fun. Okay. Cool. But if we're all playing, we need a bigger place with bigger challenges. The, the jungle. jungle! Let's go! Yay! Okay. Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can Today's game, I'm your host, Jumping Jack the Adventure Man. First, I'll divide you into teams of two. Team one, always ready Eddie and magnificent Mia. Yeah! Next, team Emma, amazing Emma and Tessa style Tessa. Have fun. Our final team, super duper Sophie. Yes. And can do Kobe. The first adventure challenge is the Outrageous Ostrich Walk. One team member will walk the line, the other will stay on the ground to help. Both will walk like an ostrich. Wow. Awesome. This looks kind of hard, Sophie. What if I can't do it? That's why we're a team, Kobe. We'll do it together. We'll go first. Tessa does this all the time in our gymnastics class. So, I'll walk the line. Huh? But if Tessa knows how to do it, shouldn't she walk the line? I think Emma wants to challenge herself on this challenge. I can do this. Uh, uh. Woohoo! Yeah! Our turn! Okay! Squawk! 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 <laughs> Want to 
to do it, Sophie? Sure. I've never done it before, but I'll try. Uh, oh. Whoa! Oh, whoa. <gasps> Whoopsie! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hooray! On to the next one! I'm for the silly lily pad, Frog Hop! Here to show us how it's done is our good friend, Finnegan Frog! Wow! He can really jump! And ribbit, too! In this challenge, one team member will hop from silly pad to silly pad, landing with a... We'll go first! Ribbit! 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 A perfect performance by Eddie! Yeah! Good job! My turn! Ribbit! Ribbit! Ball! <gasps> oh. Come on, Team Emma Tessa! Ribbit! Great teamwork! With Emma's help, Tessa has completed the challenge! Yay! Go, Tessa! Go, Tessa! Yeah, Go, Tessa! Tessa! Okay, Kobe, your turn to try it. Me? Oh, my tummy is feeling kind of funny. Oh, dear. It's no fun playing when you have a tummy ache, Kobe. We can finish the game tomorrow if you're not feeling good. No, it's not that bad. I just don't think I should try jumping. Don't worry. Kobe will rib it while his partner Sophie takes the jumps. I can do that. Great, let's do it. Ribbit, huh. Ribbit, huh. Ribbit. Yes! Nice, nice one, one, Sophie. Sophie. Good ribbits, too, Kobe. Oh, uh, thanks. Our last challenge! It's the High Climb and Super Slide Challenge! Cool! Oh, yeah! I love slides! Looks like fun, huh, Kobe? Actually, my tummy does still feel a little funny. It's okay. We'll just watch. Here we go! Hooray! And the players begin the climb! Uh-oh. Uh, Tessa's having some trouble. Uh, but Ready Eddie is there to steady her. I can't get it. Mia can't quite reach. Wait, she's getting some help now. Tessa style! Thank you! Wow! They're all helping each other. They all made it to the top. Yeah! That was fun. Good job, everyone. You can make it to the top, too. If your tummy was okay. Do you think so? It might take a few tries, but I'm sure you could do it. Come on, let's watch them slide down. Here I come! Yeah! Yeah! Sophie? I think I want to try it. I've never done it before, and I'm really nervous, but I want to try it. Yay, Kobe! It's so much fun. Yeah! Kobe, what about your tummy ache? Well, I think my tummy's just feeling nervous. Like it's filling up with butterflies. I get those. Sometimes it even feels like there's birds in there. Does it feel all flip-floppy? Uh-huh. That happens to me sometimes, too, when I'm trying something new. Mine gets all sloshy back and forth, like the ocean. Jumpin' Jack's Super Adventure Challenge makes everyone a little nervous sometimes. That's why we have teams to help each other with our flippy, floppy, sloshy butterfly tummies. I wish I had told you all how I was feeling before. Maybe I could have done the challenges. It's never too late to play this game, Kobe. Huh? We did challenges to get here. Now we do them again to get back home. Uh, Sophie, will you help me? Of course. Okay, here I go. If you are feeling nervous, trying something new, when your tummy's turning upside down, here's what you can do. 
Just have a friend beside you to catch you when you fall. With a hand to hold and a little help, you can do it all. Yay! Hooray! I got ticket too! A new thing can be scary if you've not done it before. But once you've gone and tried it, Jack? Thanks. I've never hosted an adventure challenge before. Maybe someday I'll have my own adventure challenge game show. And Kobe can write the music for it. Write the music? That makes my stomach kind of flip floppy. But if you guys will help me, I think I can do it. Hooray! Yay! Yes! Vroom, vroom. <laughs> huh? Sorry, just doing some spring cleaning up here. No problem. Vroom, 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 vroom. Come on, Lucky. You can do it. Come on. Oh, you told Lucky to stay. <laughs> yeah, he's good at that. Vroom, vroom. Shh. I'm pretending I'm a farmer. Uh, by lying on the grass with a book on your face? The book says farmers get up early in the morning. So I'm pretending it's still dark out and I'm waiting for the rooster to crow. <gasps> That's a funny sounding rooster. <gasps> That's not a rooster, Eddie. That's Farmer Jed. Being a farmer must be amazing. They clean the barn, feed the chickens, take care of the sheep, <laughs> ride the tractor. Did you say ride the tractor? <gasps> oh, we should go on a farm adventure. And I know exactly how to do everything on a farm. I learned it from this great book. That sounds fun. Can I feed the chickens? Sure. So what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yippee! Awesome! Yay! Vroom, vroom! Hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Where's the tractor? Time to farm. farm. Where are the sheep? Wait, I have to teach you the right way to. Farming's fun. Yeah. Be a farmer. <sighs> Hi, I'm Sophie. How is everyone today? <coughs> I don't know your names, but if it's okay, I'm gonna call you Daisy and you Sunny and you Esmeralda and okay, Sophie. Here's how to feed the chickens. 
You fill a scoop with chicken food and scatter it so they can peck at it. Easy peasy. Have fun. Okay. A barn has to be clean and organized. Everything put away. <sighs> in just the right spot. Great. We can do that. If the animals in the barn get in the way while you're cleaning, put them in their stalls, okay? Have fun. So you just drive through the fields and the tractor will pick the corn for you in nice, neat, straight lines. Have fun. Okay. <laughs> When it's time to move the sheep to a new field, you just rattle the food in this bucket and they'll follow you anywhere. Whoa, that's a great trick. Uh-huh. So let them graze for a little bit longer, then use this trick to move them. Okay, now I'm gonna go pick some apples. Have fun. Hmm. Emma did say have fun. Nope, not ready to pick. Not ripe. Not ripe. Mm. <gasps> ripe! Mmm. It feels so good when everything's done by the book. Huh? Oh, no. You're supposed to be feeding them lunch. I am feeding. Huh? Yeah! <gasps> what is Eddie doing? I am feeding you lunch. I'm just doing it in my own fun way. Awesome! <laughs> Eddie, you're supposed to be collecting corn, not driving in circles. A mess. Don't worry, Emma. The corn's all going into the wagon. And I'm not making a mess. I'm making a mess. What? I can't hear you. Oh, no. What's going on in the barn? <gasps> Mia, what in the world are you doing? I asked you to move the sheep, not dance with them. I'm doing both. See, when you showed me that trick with the bucket, I... Oh, Fooey! What now? Kobe, you were supposed to put the animals in the stalls when they got in the way. Why didn't anybody listen to me when I told them what to do? We are doing what you told us, Emma. We're cleaning the barn. And the animals aren't in the way. They're helping. Bernie's helping us lift hay bales into the loft. Show her, Bernie. Ta-da! Everyone's got a job. Thanks, guys. Huh. You're right. This place does look clean and organized. We did do what you asked us to do, Emma. We just did it Tessa and Kobe and cow style. <laughs> oh no, the chickens. Sophie, they never got their lunch. They did get their lunch. It's a nice day. So I used the scoop to fill a bucket with chicken food and we came out here. <laughs> it was fun. Are you sure they got enough to eat? Daisy, did you get enough to eat? None of this is exactly how I asked them to do it. But I guess it's all working out okay. But what about Eddie and the corn? I caught all the corn in the wagon I was pulling, just like you asked me to. See? But I also made a maze for us to play in when we're done. You told me to have fun, so I did. And look! Mia's having fun, too! Yeah, she moved the sheep into a new field. She just did it in her own fun way. Yep. 
<laughs> if you've got something to get done, a friend can help you through. But the way they like to do it may not be the same as you. So we all do things by the book. But I do them test the stuff. I like to add a Sophie twist. Whatever makes you smile. People do things differently than other people do. The different way we do things is what makes us me and you. If stuff gets done, why not have fun? Being different is okay. It's a scientific fact that we all have our own way. People do things differently than other people do. Congratulations, everyone. You were all really great farmers today, and you got everything done in your own special way. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oops. Uh, we kind of left a mess here. I guess we better clean up. Okay, here's how we should do it. Uh, I mean, how do you guys want to do it? I'll pretend I'm a chicken and pick stuff up from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you mean peck stuff up? <laughs> <laughs> I'll collect the stuff in the wagon like I collected the corn. And I'll lead the way, just like I led the sheep. We'll make it a pickup parade. Well, I've never cleaned up this way before. But it looks like fun. It is fun, Emma. Follow me. Let's do it. The pickup parade. Scientific fact. Lots of different animals drink together at watering holes in the jungle, like zebras. And monkeys. And lions. Roar! And polar bears. There are no polar bears in the jungle, Sophie. But this polar bear won an all-expense-paid vacation here, where it's nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Here comes a fire truck! <laughs> Is Firefighter Erica there? Can you see her? Yep! And Firefighter Rob, too! Cool! I bet they're going to put out a fire or rescue someone. Ooh, I'd love to be a firefighter. Me too. Me too. Why don't all four of us be firefighters? We can be a team. Yeah. A team. Yippee. Yay. Woohoo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> Where to, Sophie? Hold on, everyone. We're headed for Snow Globia. Let's do it. Yay! Awesome. Now to find someone to rescue. Tessa, look. I think someone found us. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, goodness. Oh, Oh dear, oh my. Excuse me, we're firefighters. Can we help you with something? Yes, you can. Well, maybe you can, I hope you can. 
Can you? We'll do our best. What's wrong? A friend came to visit me, and now she can't get home. Too much snow, don't you know? Don't worry. This firefighting team will get your friends home safe and sound. Firefighters to the rescue! Uh, what's wrong, Sophie? I don't know. Rats! We're stuck in the snow! Come on, team. Let's work together and dig this truck out. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh, my. My friend will never get home now. This is tragic. Terrible. Awful! Don't worry. We'll get her home. It just might take a little while. Hmm. Or maybe not. I have an idea. <laughs> I don't think a fire hose can dig us out of the snow. I think Sophie has a different idea. Whoa! <sighs> Mia, can you turn on the automatic hose winder, please? Okie dokie. Oh, yummy! I never would have thought of that, Sophie. <laughs> that was brilliant! Now, let's go rescue my friend! Firefighters to the rescue! Oh, 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 my friend! There she is! is a giraffe. A giraffe in the snow. They won an all-expense-paid vacation here and couldn't resist. They? She and her baby daughter. <laughs> Woo! Come on, team. Let's help the baby get off the ice. Don't worry. We firefighters will get you both home safe and sound. Whee! Whoa! going to be a little harder than we thought. Why don't we try using the rescue bucket? Great idea, Tessa. It's not moving. <gasps> There's ice all around it. It's frozen. Come on. Maybe if we work together, we can lift her out. But first, we need to get her to the side of the pond. <sighs> Oh, oh, oh. oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> She's too big. We can't lift her. We have to keep trying. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. Mia and Emma, come with me. Don't worry, little giraffe. We'll rescue you somehow. <laughs> <laughs> A baby giraffe can't climb a ladder, Sophie. You're right, Emma. Turn on the water, please, Mia. Okay. Water? What's that for? The water froze into an ice ramp. Maybe the little giraffe can climb up it. I think Sophie has a different idea. Tessa. Can you skate the baby up to the ramp? I'll try. Oh, I do hope this works! We Mama. Oh, brilliant! Genius idea and such teamwork! You have really good ideas, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts home. Oh, goodness. That ice ramp certainly does look like a lot of fun. <laughs> well, oh, maybe just one quick slide. 
Can I get a little help here, please? What's wrong? Can't you just fly down? I'm afraid we penguins don't fly. This definitely calls for a firefighter rescue. But our rescue bucket is frozen to the truck. And our rescue ladder is frozen to the pond. We need a different idea, Sophie. Maybe today penguins can fly. Huh? Are you ready to fly, penguin? Oh, my. This does sound exciting. Yes! I'm ready! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. With teamwork, teamwork, everything's more fun. Yeah, it's just more fun. Our fighting team made me fly! Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That was a different and very cool way to rescue a penguin, Sophie. Thanks. Now let's get these drafts back home. Yay, team! We did it! Go firefighters! <laughs> <laughs> we make a great rescue team, guys. Yeah, woohoo! Your ideas were so helpful, Sophie. Yeah, they were really different. Sophie, come look. Okay. Ta da! Whoa! Awesome! Cool. Your polar bear on vacation took her jungle friends on an ice filled adventure. Cool! <laughs> let's play! Yeah, let's play! Shake it together! He's running! He's running! And he slides! Oh. Whoa! Careful, Eddie. I'm dancing here. Oops! Sorry! Speak! Roll over! Ugh. Tessa! Can you stay over there, please? Sorry, but I need space for my dancing. My baseball game needs lots of space, too! And my animals need lots and lots of space. I'm going to have a zillion animals in my very own castle when I grow up. I'm going to play any way I want to in my grown-up space. I'm going to sing and dance in my space anytime, all the time. Hey, why wait? We can go on an adventure and have our own grown-up spaces right now. An, an adventure. adventure! Great, come on, let's go! Some fun. Use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Castle. But 
But it is pretty cool. Hello. I'm Perry Peacock. I help people find the perfect space to live in. And this is the friendliest space in town. Are animals allowed? Is there lots of room to play? Are the ceilings high? I jump really high when I dance. Yes, yes, and yes. In fact, we have only one rule here. Be friendly to each other. Ooh! When, when can, can we, we move, move in? in? Right now! Yes! Let's go! Enjoy! And remember, be friendly! Cool! I can't wait to play wall-to-wall any ball all over this place! Even a hundred. <laughs> ah, Steady Eddie is ready to play. <laughs> okay. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah, boogie to the beat. Tessa style. Say something. Oh! Oh, he's shaking the whole building. from this building today. Uh, are you being friendly? They started it, not me. Well, I have to practice. Hey, guys, I'm not the problem. Um, excuse me. We're not listening. 
Mia's right. We haven't been listening to each other at all. No, I guess not. So let's talk. One at a time, okay? Eddie? Okay, so I want to play games in my place. And I want to sing and dance in my place. And I want lots of animals in my place. But your animals are messing up my games. And I can't sing because of your loud games. And your singing keeps bothering the animals. Hmm. Maybe having our own space doesn't mean we can do anything we want any time we want. Maybe we have to listen to each other, too. And be friendly. Yeah. Uh -huh. So... I guess I could only sing and dance in the morning. I could keep less animals inside. Maybe just a cat. And a dog. And a bird. Oh, and of course my goldfish. I'll take the others to the jungle where they'll have lots more room to play. I could play my outdoor sports outside and only play indoor sports inside. Yes, excellent. Now you're following our one and only rule, being friendly to each other. Thank you. Goodbye. <coughs> When it's time to play, talk to yourself and say, If I do this, will my neighbors feel okay? Everyone wants to have fun, but when it's all said and done, remember you are not the only one. When you think of what is The things you do affect others too You don't have to put fun on the shelf Just respect the people around you Don't only think of yourself The things you do affect others too You don't have to put fun on the shelf Just respect the people around you Now I see that we all need our own space sometimes. And sometimes we can share. Let's do that sharing thing now. Great! How about a game of kickball? <laughs> Over here! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Time out! Sophie and Colby are playing here. Right. Our noise might bother them. And the ball might hit their sandcastle. Oh, and look, he's trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play on the other side of the yard. It's the friendly thing to do. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> and my aunt told me she sent me a package in the mail. So maybe we'll come today. Oh, I hope it comes today. What's in it, Mia? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a horse. Horses are kind of big to be delivered by mail, Mia. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a pony. <gasps> I think it's the mail truck. Uh, it's not the mail truck? No. <sighs> Is that the mail truck? Nope. It's the recycling truck. Oh, I don't think the mail truck is ever going to get here. I know how you feel. One time I ordered a book about the rainforest, it felt like it took forever to get it. Yeah. I wish time would hurry up. We should go on an adventure. Maybe your package will be here when we get back. An adventure? Yeah. A mail carrier adventure in fairy tale land. I bet they deliver a lot of great stuff there. Yes! Let's do it, Kobe. But first, I'll be right back. Huh? Okay. Can't go to fairy tale land without my tiara. <laughs> Kobe. 
Some fun, use our imagination. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Use our imagination. You could be down from walls. Oh, and these bowls are for the three bears, for their porridge. <sighs> wow, someone must really be looking forward to getting that. It's for Fairy Godmother, Kobe. <gasps> it even has a wand. Wow. Here's a map for our deliveries, Mia. We'll start here, at the Fairy Godmother's Cottage. Um, do we have to deliver there first? It's the closest place. And I bet the Fairy Godmother really wants her new outfit. Yeah, but don't you think Humpty really wants his ladder? I mean, he's stuck on a wall. He could have a great fall. You might be right, Mia. Okay, let's deliver there first. Great. I'll ride back here. And make sure nothing gets broken. Okay. Oh, I wish we never had to deliver you. I wish I could just look at you forever. <sighs> We're here! Oh. Mm. I'll be right back. Princess Mia! How lovely to see you! Aw, <laughs> thanks! We're delivering your new ladder. But how did you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I was picking apples with my friend the giant. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! whoa. Ah. Hi, giant! Hello! That's the giant up there. <clears throat> he accidentally grabbed my ladder a little too tightly. But can't he just pick you up and lift you down? Scientific fact, eggs crack when they're squeezed too tightly. This will help you get down. Thank you! You're welcome. Goodbye! See you soon, I hope. Next stop, Fairy Godmother's Cottage, just around the corner. No, not yet. I just want to keep you here with me a little bit longer. Wait! Let's deliver to the Three Bears next instead. But the cottage is closer, Mia. And the fairy godmother probably wishes we would hurry. Just like you wished the mail truck would hurry with your package. Yeah, but it's almost lunchtime. And the bears are getting new bowls for their porridge. And Papa Bear gets very grumpy when he has to wait for his lunch. And no one likes a grumpy bear. Maybe you're right. Okay, let's deliver to the bear family next. Yay! <laughs> Aren't these 
wonderful. They're special temperature controlled bowls. Your porridge will never be too hot or too cold again. <laughs> <laughs> but why did you order four bowls? There are only three of you. Hello? Bears? Yeah, it's me, Goldilocks. Got any porridge? That's why. Ho! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mia, now it's on to the fairy godmother's cottage. It's getting kind of late, Colby. Maybe we should deliver the fairy godmother's outfit tomorrow. I know you love this fairy godmother's outfit, but she is going to love it too. Think of how you feel, waiting for your package from your aunt, and how excited you're going to be when it finally arrives. It will be amazing. I bet that's how fairy godmother feels too. Oh, I never thought of it like that. She's probably feeling the same as me right now. When you're deciding what to do, try to think, if that was you, would it feel good or feel bad? Make you happy or feel sad? That's empathy. Remember how it feels to you. Empathy. And that might be how she feels too. I bet for her, it's hard to wait. Just like me. And that's not great. We should hurry to her place, put a smile upon her face. That's empathy, remember how it feels to you. Empathy, and that might be how she feels too. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> So beautiful. That makes my heart sparkle. I thought it would never get here. It would have been here sooner, but I was having a hard time letting it go. That's okay. I know how you must have felt. Of course, because you have empathy. Well, I also have a wand. Shall I test it out? Oh, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Digga, digga, do! Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! Yeah! Hi, guys! We're back! Hello! Mia! Mail carrier Ethan was just here! He delivered your package! Hooray! Cool! Uh, thank you! Bye-bye! Mia, hurry and open it! Let's see! Yeah! Oh, what is it? <gasps> Homemade chocolate chip cookies! Ooh! Ziga digga doo! And there's enough to share. Cool! <laughs> Yummy! But first, I always feel good when someone says thank you. So, I'm going to make my aunt a thank you card. Hey, let's all make cards! while we're eating the cookies. Yeah! <laughs> Great idea, Eddie. Woohoo! Look at me! I'm in first place. Oh, not for long. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Speedboat coming through. Vroom, vroom. Tessa, you knocked my sailing ship over. And your ship landed on my rowboat, Mia. Sorry, Colby, but Tessa bumped into it. Sorry, Mia, but a speedboat needs lots of room so it can go really fast. Maybe we should find a ship that we can all play with together. Great idea, Sophie. We can play with... My rowboat! My speedboat! Those are too small. We should play with my big sailing ship. Your sailing ship is big, Mia. But I was thinking we could play on a really big ship. On a sailing ship adventure. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Have a fun trip. Vroom, vroom. <laughs>
station. You can be anyone in any situation. Let's go on an adventure, exploring someplace new. Go near and far together. There's so much we can do. So hey, hey, come out and play. We're going on an adventure today. We're gonna have so much fun. Nothing better than sailing a big ship on the open sea. Whee! And since Eddie isn't here, I'll be the captain today. <laughs> Actually, I think Eddie wanted me to be captain today. Did Eddie really say that, Mia? Well, not exactly. But he always lets me be captain sometimes. Mia! Not this way! This way! Not that way! This way! I'm the captain! Can I help? No! I've got this! Yes! Land! Ho! Uh-oh! I better go steer the ship away no. from that island. Guys, stop! I'm Captain Mia. No, I am. Uh, someone better steer now, or we're gonna run into that island. I know how to do it. Let me steer. <sighs> I'm Captain. <sighs> no, no, I am. Guys, wait. Uh-oh. Abandoned ship! Hey, I thought I was the captain. Okay, captain, what do you think we should do? Uh... uh... Abandoned ship! <sighs> Water! I need water. <coughs> I'm so thirsty. We just got here, Mia. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what do we do now? We need to get our ship back onto the ocean. But how? And where did Tessa go? I'm up here. I know how to get us off this island and back to sea. I just need to raise the sail so the wind can push it. Ugh. Looks like you need help, Tessa. No thanks. Captain Tessa can do it by her. did need a little help. We have to find a way to get our ship back in the water. Yeah, I do not want to be here when it starts to get dark. Me neither. A pretend fire won't give us very much light. At least we have all these delicious marshmallows to eat. Those aren't marshmallows, Mia. They're coconuts. They're pretend marshmallows. I'm going to roast my pretend marshmallow over our pretend fire. Okay. I just wish I was pretend hungry. <sighs> <gasps> what was that? Huh? Whoa. Ah! Scientific fact. Things that roll are easier to move. Okay, but what are you going to do with those logs? I'm going to put the logs under our ship and roll it back out to sea. And then Captain Kobe will sail us back home. So, how are you?
you couldn't get the logs under the ship, Captain Kobe. Oh, I didn't think about that. <sighs> May I have a pretend marshmallow, please? I can do this! Do you want some help, Mia? Uh, nope! I got this! As captain, I command you to move back into the water! I guess I'm just not strong enough to move it. And I'm not strong enough to get the logs underneath it, so I can roll. And I wasn't strong enough to keep the sail up so the wind could push it out to sea. None of us can make the ship move by ourselves, but maybe we can make the ship move together. Okay, how? Well, if we all work together, we can try to push the ship onto Kobe's logs. Then we could all raise the sail and the wind might be strong enough to help roll the ship back out to sea. Let's do it! Yes! One can see the problem. Two can talk it through. Three can work together. Four know what to do. With teamwork, teamwork, we can get it done. charge of the best crew ever. Cause we all work really well together as a team. All Hooray! right! All hands on deck. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. missed a really fun adventure. We landed on a desert island! And an elephant even gave us a push home. Sounds cool. Yeah, we've been having fun too. We're making a whole city out of sand. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Great job. Thanks, want to help? Sure, I'll be the mayor leader person of the city. Oh, I mean, we can all work together to make Sand City the greatest city 